just stopped on the side of the road and come past the train station. restored and is maintained by the New South Wales Rail Transport Museum you'll near a voluntary organisation. I'm not even going to try to say that station. Corridija. <laughs> Let's walk down to the bottom cross the tracks and come up on the station itself. I never get tired of train lines. Just reminds me of the movie Stand By Me. I don't know if it's an active line. Maybe they have tours the museum has tours or something. Imagine back in the day, very few people around these neck of the woods. I missed the window tint, he didn't light me up here. Maybe he works for the museum. I've got some nice padlocks in there. Oh, lock it up. We've got an old fireplace. The old chair, another chair saying Picton Lakes, list of stations and mileages from Sydney, wow. And we've got two locks here, Abus 8350, very pickable, What's the other one, the other one is just a standard Lockwood. Well. Nice little tour of this old station. Alright, we have left the Langalo State Forest. We've now arrived at a place called Potholes Reserve. As you can see, there's a river down side here. We're now going to trek under the bridge and our destination is Mermaid Pools. Here we go. Potholes, Potholes Reserve and Mermaid Pools. Wallandilly. Person accessing this, the walking track to Mermaid Pools or swimming at any location in the river, do so at their own risk. Once again, graffiti vandals they're everywhere doesn't matter how remote, remote the places are they'll hit it this would be a place for them to congregate and smoke dope of an evening. It's not much water, so I doubt these pools will be
come down a little way. We've got like a little crossing here. And we've got like a tiny waterfall. I'd say in good rainfall, all this rock that I'm standing on at the moment would be all underwater. Love that sound of water. Start heading down a little bit further. We walk down a little bit further, and I gather this spot here is a favourite for swimmers because up on the trees here we've got some rope where kids can swing out and jump in. Something that I shall be doing today. Shit, that's a fucking long drop down there. Oh. You got one there. Hours of fun for the kiddies. I've got a couple of oh, someone's put some um, rungs up on the tree like a ladder. So I gather they jump off the top of the tree. There we go. Look at that. They climb all the way up. Daredevil dudes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Kid made rungs, no doubt, because they're just nailed in with pretty bad with nails. And then you've got the other one here with some BMX handlebars. Where kids jump in as well. That branch will eventually come down, you could already see it. It won't last too much longer. Get a weighty kid on there and he's gone. Alright, ever looking at uh, coming down and swimming down here at uh, Mermaid Memorial? Where are we at? Memorial Pools, I think it is. Mermaid. Oh, I don't know, I'm lost. This is the place you come. Alright, off we go. Come down a little bit further. And I'm always fascinated by rock formations and caves. You can only imagine how many thousands, millions of years these things would have been here. And how much it's changed in that time. And we see something like that. One rock on the face down here, no doubt, some time has been sitting up there and she's fallen down. Awesome. Probably a favourite Aboriginal spot hundreds of thousands of years ago. I got idiots. Ooh. 
been having fires under here. Stunning. Apart from the graffiti. Alright, we still haven't reached mermaid pools yet, but we're nearly there. Got a problem with the uh, main camera, so I've had to take my phone. And I've come up here on a cliff face. And I've come across some sort of motor. It's huge. No idea what it was used for. Absolutely huge. Right, we'll head up here and I gather we're going to head along the top track. So, still on our path to mermaid pools. Alright, we've made our way down from the cliff face up there. So I've actually come down through the bush and this is where mermaid pools must be. There's a few people sitting by there and look at that. The rope hanging off the cliff. Incredible. See if we can hop down as we're filming. Without killing ourselves. A bit of a drop there, isn't it? Which way should I go down? Should I cross the river down here or go up around? Bit of a drop there, so I'll go up around. Through the bush we go. Stairs down here. Wow, magnificent! Look at that huge rock down there, falling from the cliff. What have we got here? No safe entry or exit from pool. And this is Mermaid Pool, eh? These guys are right on the edge here. And whoever put that rope up there they're very game. There's my friend up there, she's taking some pictures. Let's see if we can cross over down here. We've got some shackles embedded in. Maybe the guy, oh, okay, so that's probably to go down here. Oh yeah, absolutely. Abseil straight down. Nice. Beautiful 
blue feather. Ooh. I'm really guessing what kind of bird it's from. Let's see if we can cross the river down here. Remember kids, when you do dangerous things like this, from those cliff tops, you have to wear the correct footwear. Heavy armors, non slip. We've got a good look at the um, rope from down here. Someone's done a fire. Perfect fire pit. Nice big drop. Stunning. I don't think I can get down there. I think the way they get to there is, I think they swim out to it because there's no way they're going to get down here. No, there's no jumping down there, so there's no way down from here. It is getting down at some other point, I'd say, or diving in from up here and then swimming over to there and pulling yourself up. I think that pink rope down there, if you can see the pink rope there, that's to pull yourself up on the rock and then you've got this big one to dive on in. So we have conquered mermaid pools. Or pool. I'm gonna see if I can make it up at top there with my friend, take a few pictures from up there, maybe a video as well. All right, au revoir. Okay, we've made it up. Not so easy. Straight up it is. And we're right on the edge. That's where I was down there. You can see the drop this way. It's a fair drop. I wonder if anyone's ever jumped from up here. You'd have to have some balls to jump from here. And there's that rope across. Is it alright if I walk in front of you? Is it okay if I walk in past you? Look at that rock down there. That big beastly rock has fallen from up here. All of those rocks. Different ridge line hundreds of thousands of years ago. Mermaid pools. I think that's it. We've conquered. Bit of a walk from Pot Potholes Car Park, I'll tell you. Beautiful swimming hole. If you're thinking about swimming, 
I'm gonna check this joint out. Adios.